and we're back with Let's Play Skyrim. Following the adventures of Vilja and Dandry. Now, let's see what's up. Yeah, I've actually already played this episode. But due to a recording error, uh, I lost all the footage, so I had to redo it. Not only that, I also, because of uh, idiotic saving on my part, I uh, had to replay half of last episode to get right back where we were. Just in case any of you uh, notice any differences and are curious what's going on, that's kind of what's going on. Now, the plan is still, well, yeah, Dandry's plan is to head off to Feltglow Keep and ask rather nicely to see where, uh, you know, these, uh, uh, k sort of kicked out mages that kept those books. <laughs> He's kind of needing them. So, that's what we're going to do. And, uh, try not to freeze to death on our way there. So, come on, Vilja. Off on a, uh, perhaps whirlwind adventure. Hopefully not. You feel comfortable. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Sure. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Uh, what's on your mind, Phil? Oh. I'm supposed uh, I to hope you guys fire. don't mind, since you saw this last time, I'm just going to oh, skip through right. it. I must say the save uh, the skip through it. Years. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> as I said, I uh, had to replay uh, half of last episode, so... I, uh, uh, there might be a few uh, <laughs> issues with that. Uh, who are you? Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. Um, what are you talking the about? The finest skooma. The sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of course. Um, this doesn't seem legal. I'm just gonna go. Uh, a snitch, eh? Wait, what? Can't have you running to any guards now, can I? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Um, flames. Let's try this out. Okay. Dude, I didn't say I was gonna snitch you out. I just said that seemed somewhat illegal. Bill. Um, what are my keys? I, of course, don't want to nag, but uh, it would be great if you could find a saber cut soon. And kill it, of course, so that I can have its eye. You know, not to uh, be rude, Vilja, but uh, you're not nagging sounds a lot like nagging. Just in my uh, uninformed, unexpertized opinion. Of course. Just saying. Alright, here, have a pair of iron boots and iron gauntlets, though. And I'll take off with those, uh, barbarian stuff. So, uh, where are we going now? I told you, Vilja. Felglow Keep. We're off to save the books! Those poor, poor, defenseless books who got stolen, and who knows what happened to them. In case, uh, some of you are wondering, yes, uh, Dandry is, uh, quite the book lover, um... <laughs> big fan of uh, books. I do like that guy. I'm not going to have him along for this adventure, though. You feel chilly. Of course I do. What the... All right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Um... Do I look like I have that kind of money? Yes, actually. 
you look like you're lousy with gold. I suppose it's the uh, college robes. I'm actually kind of broke. I don't really uh, have anything, so I, I don't really have time for this. Uh, <laughs> You seriously, dude. You got studded armor, wolf cr wolf cry sword. Isn't that a Vildra uh, quest item? The kind of quest reward you get for Vildra's quest line. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, does one of my mods uh, have that uh, distributed through the level? And seriously, what a rude individual. In case some of you are wondering, yes, uh, Dandry's uh, starting to let his uh, st steadily increasing magical abilities go to his head. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's starting to feel a little uh, overconfident. And we're going to make a brief stop here, set up a tent, and try not to freeze to death. Thank you, Frostfall. I'm actually quite familiar with how this goes. And I'm just going to be uh, here for a little while, uh, trying not to freeze to death. So. I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, I'm back, I'm warm, and the snow, ha it has stopped snowing. And by oblivion, is it bright? And again, bright sun, white snow, yeah. Um, okay. Um, are you giving this to me via some telepathy, Vilja, or...? Okay, that was a little freaky. But, uh, it, 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 Skyrim's just getting weirder, but... See, uh, Daedra Worshipper? Yeah, I don't blame you. Those guys don't seem all that nice. I mean, though, I know the... Dunmer worship Daedra, but, uh, you know, most Daedra worshippers aren't all that nice. And again, a lot of the Dark Elves aren't that nice. Kind of xenophobic, xenophobic, angry, grumpy people, a lot of Dark Elves. A lot, not all. Okay, a Stormcloak Courier? Yeah, heading back to Felglow Keep, back into, I think Whiterun's considered Imperial territory, even though uh, the uh, current Jarl has declined the Imperial, uh, uh, Imperial, both Imperial and Stormcloak, uh, you know, uh, affairs, kind of trying to stay out of him. Which, I can't honestly blame him. Come on, Vilja, let's give a... Okay, let's uh, help this uh, fella out. Okay, that was cool. Yeah. My power, it ever grows. Okay. I need the style that's authentic. You should see the ones we have in Solstein. They are really scary. Um, out of... Yeah, in Dandry's perspective, he doesn't even know... He's never seen a horker and doesn't even know what a horker is. But... Oh, we got an Imperial Patrol uh, uh, fighting a Stormcloak Patrol. Let's get out of their way. Yeah, let's leave him alone. But 
Failed you. I said we we're gonna leave the uh, storm cloak alone. He's had enough trouble. Ooh, what do we got here? Besides my character stomach grumbling, what do we got here? Oy. Yeah, I gotta say, is say, the immersive patrols does give a somewhat semblance of a civil war going on without it being uh, too extravagant, like the War Zones mod. Which I appreciate. Because I quite like the concept of that mod, but it was always kind of demanding on my system, so I never really used it. So, yeah, I do like that, uh, the Immersive Patrols mod, which adds these patrolling groups uh, from, well, various factions of Skyrim. The Night Gate Inn. Well, how am I doing? Somewhat chilly. Um, map. Well, yeah, let's uh, stop here at this inn. Maybe have a word with a few of its patrons, and uh, get back out there. And the rattling objects thing is back. I was hoping I had made it. I made some I and I tweaks that are supposed to fix that. Uh, apparently they didn't. Uh, but for now, every. Uh, the interior cell in the game is now haunted, apparently. Hey, you're an elf. What are you doing here? Hold on. Are you alright? You look like you got a tax job. Uh, I do? Well, I have spent a lot of time indoors. Uh, I'm fine, really. Uh, I just spent a lot of time in libraries and in haunted inns. Well, good for you. Wintershins was a terrible book anyway. The name's Colin. What can I do you for? Uh, just thought I'd talk while I warmed up. Not much of a talk. No more. That one's a talker. He won't shut up about his dead wife and the corpse he calls his manhood. Uh, you're not a nice person. You don't like the Imperial, I take it, then? Well, he's got his moments. I come to the scene and the first thing I ask Hadring is what you got to drink. And Morris says, I hope you like this. Okay. Well, this will ain't so bad, but with these sort of drinkers around, spreading gossip like a midwife, it's no wonder the scene is so dead. Okay. I think this... I kind of prefer a quiet inn from time to time, really. Tell us to Morris. He likes to tell full time how there still ain't no calmly maidens in the sin. Okay. So I tell full time, what's with the warriors here? They need strength potions to get off their stools. Full time? Uh, he mostly just ignores us and stands to his fleas. Okay. Seem quite like the talker to me. Okay, so I lie. I talk. But I also get things done. Okay. So, if you got things in slam, now I gotta steal the slam. Um. Well, more like you got the iron. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave because this Watch place is freaking that noise. rattling thing, which doesn't. Okay. Okay, I just, I just, um, I'd like to figure out what that bug is, it is driving me nuts, but it seems to happen in an interior cell. Uh, who are you? I really don't mean to be rude, friend, but I'm not feeling particularly sociable. Okay. Now, before anyone goes typing in the comments who that guy is, uh, spoiler warning, yes, I am aware that he is the, uh, chef or the guy who wrote The Uncommon Taste. However, uh, you know, Dandry would have no idea and actually hasn't read The uh, Uncommon Taste, so he would have no idea. So... Wouldn't it be nice just talking to you and Yeah, actually, that would be nice now that we're outside of the haunted inn. So... It's so nice to just talk a little, you and I. I was just thinking... 
me see would that you be frown. If I told you a little about myself? Uh, sure. Why not? I actually won the decent conversation, but I kind of got distracted by rattling objects. As I told you before, my parents weren't happy on my plans to go to the Skyrim Bard College. I could imagine. It was not only that they wanted me to be an alchemist, they also wanted me to get married. Ah! Settle yes, down! Exactly. Have a family! My father and our neighbor, Sigar, have been joking about that I should marry Sigar's own Haldan. They weren't joking, were they? I thought they were just teasing us. Believe me, Haldan isn't the kind of guy any girl with some sense would want and to marry. And why is that? He's an arrogant, spoiled little brat who thinks that every girl in the oh, village adores one of him those and would love people. to spend her life spoiling him even further. Uh, Dandry's ran into I've quite a few uh, with him. <laughs> brats like that. To kiss me, and I smacked him. Uh, kind of being a minor part of the alive. High Rock High the Court. The <laughs> it came as a shock when my father said I couldn't go to the Bard College, as both my family and Haldans expected us to marry soon. Uh, I hate arranged marriages. What I thought it was just a joke or seriously meant, and Haldan, that jerk, said he was looking forward to taming the wild cat. Okay. Of course I got furious. Never ever would I want to marry someone I didn't and love. And that's kinda why I hate My arranged parents, of marriages. Course, weren't too happy when I told them this, but eventually they accepted. But Hal done that jerk. He wouldn't take no for an answer. Uh, yeah, he's one of those. He yelled and screamed at me, and when I told him I didn't want to listen any further, he yelled that he would have his I wonder what the Imperial General Patrol Nature. thinks of this conversation. Two days later, uh. my precious flute, the one my grandmother had given me, was nowhere to be found. Haldan had had his revenge. That's just, that's just not nice. So, you have no idea where that, uh... Unpleasant person did with your uh, flute. Oh, I actually have a pretty good idea about that, and I'd be happy to tell you all about it, but uh, not right now. We have things to do, haven't we? Yes, I agree. We have books to save, and what is it? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Uh, sure, I got another minute. I'm only slowly freezing to my death, so, you know, what's on your mind? I have to confess. I actually have more communication holes for You're you. You're kidding me. I didn't want to give them to you at the same time as the other one. Yeah, it, you see, yeah. I simply didn't want to make things too complicated for you. Uh. But these are simpler to use. Three of them represent specific topics that we can discuss as we travel. The fourth one you can use to tell me to keep quiet when it's inconvenient that I'm talking. Uh, hello! I won't be offended, I swear. Yes, that's my lovely, lovely kitty cat. <laughs> saying that he wants my attention. <laughs> uh, new communication horns. Like with other horn, you have to make these horns favorite items and assign them to a hotkey. I have written down the Yeah, I'll deal with you. him as soon as I uh, it's easier that way. <laughs> get done with Of course with you the don't have here. to use them. But uh, if I may, I would suggest that you give at least one of them a try. Yeah, these it's are... It's so nice uh, to small talk when traveling. And the horns will make this so much easier. Yeah, I actually uh, agree. Uh, what else, Vilja? Uh, like we've been studying here about. for... Have you I don't... Minute? I've lost track, but I'm freezing to death, so... You know, frost falls here, and I'm susceptible to the cold, so I would like to get a move on. I was just thinking, maybe I'm talking too much? At the I moment, yes, that. but uh, general chit-chat, Just tell no. me if you don't want me to be so talkative. Uh, it, don't worry, it's fine for Wonderful. right now. Just... Just remember that you can ask me to talk less at any point. Okay. So, uh, where are we going now? Well... Yeah. So I'll go keep. I'll be back here in a minute, guys. I got a kitty cat to deal with. Okay. I am back. The kitty cat is dealt with. And, uh... But, yeah, he's fine. He just, uh, wanted me to let, a, uh, let him outside. So, yeah. In case, uh, any of you were wondering. Did you know that Rune World Free Winter is the veteran of the Great War? Many say that he's a hero, but he doesn't seem to be very proud of this. 
Uh, I do have to say, Viljip, uh, you keep mentioning people who uh, Dandry has no idea who are. Yeah, I know who Brune Will Free Winter is. He's the, uh, well, he's the guy who takes over as Jarl if you uh, defeat the Stormcloaks, if I remember correctly. Of course, uh, memory can be such a fickle thing. Okay, White Run. Which we're actually not heading towards, but we're heading towards Feldglow Keep, which is in the direction of White Run. Oh, and thank you, Character Stomach, for reminding me that you're hungry. Let's have some soup. Maybe with a piece of bread to mop up the bowl. There we are. We're full. We can continue on. Yeesh. This is a cold, cold... Is that a spider? Okay. Time to try out my new lightning bolts. Where are you, spider? Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, oh, that went well. Anything useful, alchemically speaking, on you? No, just some venom. Okay, we'll leave that there. Yeah, personally, um, I quite dislike spiders. I... Dutch, yeah. But uh, the frostbite spiders of Skyrim, for some reason, have never really bothered me all that much. I still don't like them, but, you know, <laughs> they just don't bother me as much as other spiders, for some reason. Not sure why. Now, I believe Felglow Keep is somewhere in this direction, so we should be able to get there fairly easily. Seen, seen what before? That rock outcropping? Uh, you know, it does slightly bother me how inspecific you are. It, yeah, you leave a lot for interpretation sometimes, Phil. Let's see. I know Phil... Let's see. Let's see. What are we actually going to say to them, Phil? You know, we uh, would like the books back you stole. Or... Uh, is that another dragon burial mound? Hmm. It is. This one's got a bit of stone outcropping to it, though. Huh. Almost looks like one of those standing stones that I uh, ran into in Riverwood. Huh. Uh, how's the weather, by the way? Temperate. That means I can actually dispense with the... Uh, fur cloak at the moment. There we are. Bit more comfortable. Now that we're not freezing to death. So, yeah, uh, Filcher, what are we gonna s- You make me nervous when you do like oh. that. Walk Keep backwards? Keep row, do you might trip and fall? <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose so. I'm just trying to chat to you while we're moving, so- what do you think we're going to say to these guys? Uh, we'd like the books back. Uh, uh, that's probably not going to work. Uh, let's get a, come up here and see. Uh, I think Felgo keeps right up here. Uh, whoa. A pair of giants. And some idiots trying to take on a mammoth and two giants. And setting a mammoth on fire. What's going on here? I think that's Felglow Keep right over there. Let's try and stay out of this. Yes, yeah, seriously, dude. It's a giant. Yep, that went well. As I expected. Could you guys, uh, you know, leave so I could loot things? No? Was that a fireball that I just heard? Here's Felglow Keep. Go get it. Ow! 
out! Okay, they're not friendly. They are not friendly at all. You leave him alone. We did well. Don't you think so? Uh, that was a flame atronach, though, but... Whoa, dude, 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 just, we want to talk. I'm sorry, Bill, just for shocking you. Uh, Seriously! Um, you're joking, right? I didn't even swing it in his direction. I threw lightning at him. Seriously, dude! We just wanted to talk! Where'd the books go? It, uh, then again, we handled you fairly easily, so... And... You know what? This looks like an old-fashioned fort to clear, full of hostile mages that my, uh, sister writes about. You think we can handle them, Phil? Er, well, you're not so friendly, but you know what? Guilty by association, I say. Sorry, Phil. I am horrible with my aim right now. You don't scare me. <laughs> ah, I took a little bit of injury there, but I I can easily heal it, so. Huh. Bound sword. Cool. Oh, oh. Bound sword. Is that better? Well, of course, it's a bound. It's a conjured Daedric item from the plains of Oblivion. Of course, it's better than my uh, iron war axe. Should I use that instead of my iron war axe? There is the something of bound weapons. You don't have to carry them, but and you're, you can never be uh, disarmed of them. On the other hand, they're temporary and will disappear within a minute or so. But you don't have to carry them. I'm going to stick with my war axe for a little while. All right, here we are. That sounded like a bear trap triggering. Let's make a save, just in case the game decides to crash, or freeze, or maybe kill me. On the rare occasions that it decides to do that. Ugh, this place doesn't seem like it's in the best of shape. Uh, I suppose mages don't exactly make the best uh, architects, or... Uh, best people to uh, do maintenance on uh, fortifications. Well, typically, though, then typically, then again, typically, if they do that sort of thing, they conjure something like a scamp or something to... I'm not too sure I like all those friends. This whole place seems a bit, well, unfriendly. What would give you that idea? The fact that Orthorn's friends, uh, so-called friends, threw lightning bolts and ice spikes at our faces for just showing up. Ow! I wasn't paying attention and... Ow! Ah. <laughs> there you go, Dandry. You leveled up from restoration of getting your leg tra trapped in a bear trap. Health, Magicka. Uh, my ha Magicka seems pretty high. Let's go for health. I'm thinking we put a point into illusion. That just seems kind of interesting, and it's a little roll of the dice to see what we can get in uh, illusion. Fear. Creatures and people flee from combat for 16 seconds. Once, one, only works once per target. Yes, but that that actually sounds pretty useful. <laughs> we are growing in power. 
I really hate spiders. Did I ever tell you that? Uh, this would be the first time you've told Dandry that. Um, but why are you mentioning that? I haven't seen any spiders, so, um, my, uh... Oh, what is it? Um, uh... Hello, uh, we'd like some books. Uh, I thought I had a uh, Oh, no, 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 no. Spiders. No, no. Go away. Ow, why am I... Oh. Okay, come on then. Really, dude? <laughs> you suffered at mine. And I'm surprised I didn't set that bookshelf on fire. Huh. You know... I could get into this adventuring life. This is kind of fun. It's got its difficult moments, but I can st I'm starting to see why uh, Sis enjoys it so much. Ascendance of Dwemer Law. Oh, in case you guys are uh, wondering about this, uh, yeah, Dandry quite loves his books, and he is on his own unofficial quest here in Skyrim to collect every book, a copy of every book that has ever existed. So, uh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll edit out the boring bits of me looting. Well, that's it for this room. There's a pressure plate. We nearly died to one earlier. Let's avoid dying to that one. Let's see what's up here. That was... Uh, steel shield, bandit iron armor. None of it banded. I don't know why I said that. And an apprentice chest. Question. Am I skilled enough with alteration to open it? No, I have an alteration of 20. I need an a, not a uh, alteration skill of 25 to get through that. Yes, the uh, lockpick overhaul uh, adds a uh, sort of lock mechanic similar to that of fallouts that uh, prevents you from uh, opening locks that are above your skill level. Which, I can understand. Ah, a rune. Let's not die to that. Now somebody has got to have heard that. Case in point. I'm gonna nail you with my arrow. Ow! I'm not afraid of you. Ow. Although the injuries seem to stack up fairly easily, but, uh, on the other hand, my skill in restoration is, uh, getting better through, uh, practical means. Uh, I'm not sure if that, uh, you guys could hear that on the video, but, uh, the, uh, nearby military base has started, uh, blowing things up, so... Now, I'm not sure if you guys could even hear that, but I can, so... Ugh. What are... People in cages? Torture racks. I can see why the college got rid of these guys. You know, Vilja, I'm starting to think it's a good job we're here clearing this place out. So, who are you? Out of the way, meat. Wait a minute. Sunken skin. Glowing orange eyes. You guys are vampires, aren't you? Yeah. Though admittedly, um, vampires are kind of an unpleasant thing. It's the uh, dandries of a bit more of the opin uh, learned opinion of... Uh, that uh, most vampires are more victims of happenstance than, uh, you know, monsters. You know, they're pe they were normal people until somebody, you know, decided to munch on them. And, uh, 
accidentally uh, turned them into a, uh, you know, vampire. Uh, hang on. And I'm back. <sighs> I hate it when somebody decides to call in the middle of, uh, well, my recording. You know, what I should probably do is uh, probably just yank the cord on that phone while I'm recording, so I don't get that. Now, uh, what was I saying? I, could you remind me, Vilja? I've completely forgotten. No? Okay. Ooh, the firmament. Oh yeah, I, I been, was looking for a copy of this earlier, I think. It uh, tells the, uh, various signs of Tamriel, which if you uh, actually go and look, you can actually find. Uh, we got levers here. Curiosity, I hate you. Um, let's open that. Ah. You guys gonna attack if I open these? Nope. That looks like they're in for a taste of revenge. Whoa, auto save. Here, have a uh, flame after a thought. Ow. What happened? We did fairly good there, Filjo. Huh. And so did you, Flame Atronach. I gotta give the Flame Atronach a nickname, don't I, Filjo? I feel like it should. I should give it a nickname. Then again, that's assigning a personality to a Daedra, who was probably uh, bound temporarily to my surface against its will, so... Uh. Then again, it would have tried to kill me otherwise, so... Potion of human blood. Um, that's kind of disgusting. Um, then again, you are a vampire, so that's probably your version of a snack. Uh, uh this place seems rather un... What unpleasant? What are they doing in here? Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to know. And it doesn't seem to be necromancy either. Necromancy generally has to do with the undead, and well, well, there are vampires, and they count as amongst the undead. Uh, you know. No one's raising zombies so far. And is that Khajiit's tail moving? Um. Yeah, I know that's a vanilla bug for Skyrim, that Khajiit and Argonian tails move beyond the, uh, when they're dead, and it's just a slight glitch, but it's nonetheless, it's always disturbing. Myths of Sheogarath. I mentioned this in an earlier episode. Uh, by the way, guys, I, I, I am thinking of doing a side series. I Hopefully you guys will let me know what you think in the comments. But uh, I'm thinking of doing a side series where I take the various books I find during my Let's Play and read them out in a separate video to you guys. You'll have to let me know what you think. Think. But, uh, yeah. If you guys would be interested, but... What's going on? What's going on down here? I hear somebody talking. Asking to be let out. And I hear wolves. Who are you? Is someone there? Go! 
Oh, he's dead. Now to the wolves. Ah, uh, sorry, Viljo. Ah, I don't mean to shock you, it's just happenstance. Where'd the other wolves go? I don't want them... Look over there! New wolf frog! I find you. Uh, yeah, you will, Viljo. It's a wolf. It's not up there. I can only assume it ran this way. But I don't want them left behind us because, uh, well, they're wild. Then again, I don't really... It's running away, you know? It's been captured here for who knows what purpose. Uh-oh. Look over there. See the wolves? Yeah, I see the wolves, Vilja, but they're not trying to attack us. Let's leave them alone. Live and let live, I say, you know? Who knows what these horrible sorcerers let... Uh, did to them. Let's just leave them alone. Come on, Vilja. Yeah, come on. Did, uh, you, uh, conjure a, uh, summoning? Ah, <laughs> how'd you end up over here, dude? Yeah, Felglow Keep. Yeah, in case you're wondering why that wolf did not out all out attack and run and instead ran away, that's a part of Sky Test Animals, which uh, tries to make the behavior of the animals of Skyrim a bit more realistic. They don't attack unless, one, they're hungry, or two, they're, uh, you know, uh, feeling threatened. Or, and, if they're uh, injured, they will run for their lives, which that wolf did there. So, um... You look a lot better than the other test subjects we've seen around here. Who are you? Don't leave me here. Oh, so you're Mr. Orthorn. I was actually thinking of trying to have you locked up for stealing the books, but it looks like somebody beat me to it. But this is not exactly what I intended, to be honest, though. Yes, yes. Did Archmage Arryn send you? He sent you to rescue me, didn't he? Mm, rescue, yes. You know, I'm actually here to rescue the books, and Archmates Aaron didn't exactly send me. Uh, I'm kinda here on a side note of sorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for the books. What? The book? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I shouldn't have taken them. I know it was stupid. I was. Stu Agreed. It won't happen again. I'm not so help certain of, of that. And I'll help you find them. Please. So, where are the books you stole, man? I don't have them anymore. She took them. The caller. She's the one who put me in here. Please, let me out of here. So, why exactly are you in this cage? I thought these guys were your friends. They threw me in here until they were ready to use me in one of their experiments. Oh. This wasn't supposed to happen. Did you? I thought they wanted my help. Ow! Viljek, can you <laughs> deal with that? Thank you. I... <sighs> Ow. I'm fine. So, they, uh, you wanted you as a cadaver, not as a, uh, friend. <laughs> Some nice friends you got, man. So, is there a key to this cage? Because, uh... I have decent unlocking spells, but they're decent, not great. No, it's the levers in the center there. Just make sure you don't pull the wrong one. Please, hurry. I don't like being in here. Yeah. Don't leave me here. Hmm. Yeah, so you were right to go after the wolf. I'm sorry for doubting you, Vilja. Okay, so what exactly happens if I pull the wrong lever, exactly? You know, that... Now, a logical assumption would be that these levers correspond to the gate in their direction. This one corresponds with that one, this one, that one, and that one, that and that one. Let's test that hypothesis. Yes, it is correct. So, nothing actually happens other than the gates opening when you pull these levers. What exactly could go wrong with that, then? 
aside from the wolves that were in that one. Thank you, thank you. I promise I'll help. Uh, and then I'll do you have to, to the college, talk to me through a pillar? Let me back in. Um, now, where are the books? Where exactly are they? Yes, of course. I said I'd tell you, didn't Yes, I? tell the me. Will have them. She was most interested in one Where's of the Where's the collar, then? Although and not interested enough to keep me from being locked up. I can assume she's here for the, uh, interested in the same tome that I'm actually here for. Oh, you've saved me. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Who knows dude. What they'd have done to no, me if you hadn't come along. I don't I want to imagine, to actually. Um, I'm not sure if I exactly want the help of a book thief. You know, a guy who thought stealing stuff was the best way to ingratiate himself with a group of friends. Ah, I see. Well, then I'll just stay behind you a little bit and follow along quietly. Okay, you should really get yourself to safety, man. Don't you need my help? Mm. Yeah, let's see. Mm, no, I'm not sure. Well, Dandry can help handle this with Vilja, you know, but, uh, mm, uh, I suppose you're right. An extra pair of hands could be, you know, handy. <laughs> so. I shall do my best. Uh, well. Just don't get in my way, okay? Just don't get in the way. Don't cause trouble. And I have books. I don't want you stealing them. Got it? Okay, good. Poor old son. How are you doing? You know, with friends like yours, you don't really need any enemies. <laughs> You're not kidding, Jit Phil. <laughs> you, you got that right. His friends, what? They locked him up with the intention of using him as an experiment -y. and what is going on down here? That looks like some target practice. We'll take a short break, and then move on to wide area destruction spells. Hmm. And they noticed us! Oh! More Flame Atronox! For the win! Uh-oh. Yep, that's kind of what I was afraid of. I can't get a clear line of fire, Vilja. Uh. Okay, potion time. Okay, I'm dead. Uh, wasn't quite paying close enough attention to my health bar, and I'm dead. What a horrid, horrid creature you are. Oh, and we're back here again. Just gonna stay back here and let my uh Well there goes the vampire. <sighs> We're back here again. Uh oh. Look over there. We'll look over where what? What's going on, Phil? Yeah, that's... I thought she was a corpse. Quite I have to admit, 
except the parts where I uh, get a premonition that I was too careless and get killed, but I think that's uh, what how I'm going to uh, try and make the uh, my character dying, uh, you know, fit into the story. <laughs> he has a premonition of death, that he was too careless and dies. He's a aspiring that to his uh, growing mystical powers. Alright, and we're back here. Let's save, and this time I'm thinking um, Staff. Right, Staff. Of Lesser Daedra. And we summon one right in the middle of that room. Let's stay back and Try not to get ourselves killed. Alright, let's quaff a couple of Restore Magicka potions. There we go. Much better this time around. See? Seeing into the future. With, uh, what school of Magicka would exactly, uh, allow that? Anyways. Get out of here. Uh, you're, you had your opportunity to get out of here, and you're deciding not to, so, you know. Apprentice Ice Mage. Staff of Sparks. I already have that that. You are using vampires as target practice? I, just seriously. You can... There may be more to this story. Oh, yeah! We'll... Yeah! Red Eagle Sword. Yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, have a look into that later. Poor old son. How are you doing? You know, with friends like yours, you don't really need any enemies. Yeah, seriously. You have a lousy taste in friends. Okay. More with Let's Loot. <laughs> okay. We're through here. Let's try not to get killed. Let's actually make a save here. Because I don't like replaying bits. Uh, necromancers. Be careful. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll give them a staff of lesser danger. You think so dead. Um, whoa! What is going on? I need flames instead of lightning. Whoa! And a couple more restore magic potions. I'm not afraid of you. That there's Orthorn. Ah, that's cool. Is that a did that staff summon a golden saying? Cool. Ah. Although I don't like the growling noises it's making, but that went well. Huh. That went ri uh, really well. Uh, sorry, Viljump, we're getting in each other's way. Ow! That had to hurt. Uh, Vilja's doing, I assume. Robes of Minor Conjuration. I don't have that enchantment, so uh, I'll run off with those. Ugh. So there are necromancers here. Uh, yeah. Hmm. And this, this looks to be a spell tome. Toggleable spell. While active reanimation spells are 50% more expensive to cast and reanimation corp... I'll take it. Dandry is kind of not into necromancy. Don't worry, Orthorn. Watch what you're doing. We'll get you out of here. Yeah. 
yeah, Gendry's not into necromancy. It's, uh, you know, the whole idea of magics messing around with the dead is kind of uh, not in good taste. Again, I'm taking this for its enchantment. Yeah. I'm just, uh, yeah, necromancy. Kind of one of those shunned magics. Oh. Oh. Uh, what do you got there? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Fell glow keep. Open. Alright. Again. Save. Don't want to have get killed and have to redo this. All of do that necromancer crypt all over again. Oh, right. I, that mod doesn't exist for Skyrim. Uh oh, look on the um. Huh. A permanently bound... Ah, oh, Golden Saint. That's... Uh, guys, would you kindly come back here before my companions decide to run off after you? Okay. I missed. Well, that died fairly easily. And there goes my, uh... That staff seems to have a taste for Golden Saints at the moment. Alright, axe time. Oh boy. Die! Okay. Go away. Hey, Trying to be Vilja. Yeah, I know that, Phil. I'm just my aim is terrible, and oh boy, do those ice spikes look painful. Okay. All right. I assume he's hiding over here somewhere. Where are you? Nope, not hiding o over here somewhere. Did you hear that noise? I wonder what it was. Um, yeah, him. I would it assume. Sure you heard something. Ow! Get back here. Staff of Lesser Daedra, what are other staff? That might work. A little hard to believe you yield when you're coming at me with a spiky thingy. Okay. Ah, uh, more of them? Uh, who are you? Uh. Iron Claw. Yeah, that seems... The mage is... Uh, there he is! Uh -oh. You know, the best defense isn't a good armor. It's a good, strong weapon. Or a good, strong spell, in my case. Where's Orthorn, anyways? Orthorn... Conjurer's Potion. A human heart! You have a human heart in your body. Good grief, I am so glad I, uh, that we decide to come here and kind of, well, kill you all. They think the world's going to be a better place with 
Ah, there's more of them. Better. You so dead. So let me get this straight. Your response to seeing one of your friends killed is, ooh, perfect zombie material. Apprentice spell sword. Flame Atronach. Oh! Orthorn got killed. Ice bite to the back of the skull. Uh, you know what? We're gonna leave him with some dignity. And, uh, not loot him. Besides, he doesn't have anything worth taking. Well, apparently I'm doing a great job hiding from you because you're, uh, <laughs> not found me yet. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, running off with your, all your books. Gotta make sure you don't want to leave these poor book. Hang on. Okay, I'm back and being threatened. Uh, yeah, my dog, uh, well, my dog's nemesis is back, the squirrel. He's back. <laughs> so that's what uh, was going on there. Spell Torm. Aura. Chastise. Targable aura spell that regenerates abilities of undead creatures. That blocks the regenerative abilities of uh, undead creatures. Keep Keeping it up reduces maximum health and stamina. Okay. But with that, I can her harm undead to do some sort of magical uh, uh, damaging to undead just by being near me. Well, that's interesting. It's amazing how many of these guys were just leaning towards my friend is dead, I better make him a zombie so he can once again be useful. Oh, oh, this is their bathroom, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Probably the smell would give it away, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna just probably go with, uh, Dantry doesn't actually have a sense of smell. The only way he could, uh, you know, not have an idea what's going on with that. You know. Interesting, uh, why did I take that ingot of Quicksilver? Quick question. Anyone know? Old habits die hard, I suppose. She's not searching in the right places, is she, Vilja? Oh, a st stone of Baron Zaya. I'm gonna leave that there because that's a counts as a quest item, even though I'm never gonna do the Thieves Guild quest line with this character. So uh, I don't wanna have to lug that a uh, whole that thing around. That's half a pound of carrying space I don't need to waste. Did I just pick up bone meal? That's kind of... I have more bone meal. Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. Alright. Not really. Okay, that was somewhat satisfying. You know, uh, I gotta f say, it does kind of feel like prepping both spells like this. Kind of feels like having a double-barreled shotgun and just unloading both barrels into somebody. And she... Ooh, okay. This is uh, getting freaky. Err. Hypothetical treachery. Oh, yes, I remember that. Isn't that a skill book? I guess not. I thought that was a skill book. But I haven't read it, so... Hmm... This looks to be what was, at one time, a library. Look at all these poor books. Oh, they're ruined. <sighs> of course, I, Dandry, you're supposed to be uh, interested in books, not yawning your head off. Then again, an involuntary yawn is an involuntary yawn. Well, 
Hello? Anyone in here? No? This place is gonna be a lot, is, uh... That's a bandit? That's the most interesting bandit I've ever seen, Vilja. <laughs> that looks a lot more like a flame atronach to me, Phil. Anyone else here besides that flame atronach? I guess not. On the other hand, we're getting a lot of fire salts. Ah, cool. We have the key. Ooh, a sweet roll. Uh, and some loaves of bread. Yeah. Not sure if you guys can hear that, but uh, my cats are being a little playful in the background. Hope oh, it's... yeah, <laughs> it's kind of cool, and the pets are uh, feeling uh, energetic. <laughs> Hope uh, it doesn't bother you guys too much. Okay, definitely saving before entering that room. <laughs> that seems, um... So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. Yeah. How nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um. Uh, who are you? You're the first person in here who hasn't immediate. Uh, whose response to my presence hasn't been a uh, lightning bolt or an ice spike. Just to be honest. Names no longer matter. You uh -huh. refer to me as the caller. Ooh, no, how impressive. Such a mess? Um, well, I came here to rescue some books that were stolen from the college. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That's mm, disappointing. Not really. You show real promise. You Thank come you. Here, kill my assistants. Disrupt well, they shot work. first. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving You've you annoyed me. Can I please have the books? They're not yours. They were stolen. So can I just return them to their rightful owners and we can just split ways uh, peacefully? Oh, now we're all please and thank you, are we? I'm, I'm trying to be polite. Pleasantries. Uh, I, yeah, I should think so. Your yeah. friend, your... Walk out that door and never come back. I suggest you move quickly. Perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement, you know? I, I have some money I could offer them in, excha in exchange for the books. I'm afraid you don't have anything worth trading. Now, you can go back to your college and leave me be, or I can kill you. Your choice. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere without those books. You have really gotten on my nerves. The first person in here to actually talk to me, and I want to shut them up as quickly as possible. Are you attempting to threaten me? After I A little. So hospitable. Hospitable? You call this hospitable? Your door guests decide to open up with lightning. Lightning bolt. Okay, staff of lesser danger. She seems to be rather immune to spells. Let's try the old-fashioned axe. And resist fire. Restore magicka and restore health. Vilja, where are you? Vilja. Vilja, where are you? Vilja? Oh, there you are. You had me worried there for a minute. Whew. Well, she was kind of tough. 
kind of tough, but not all that tough. The collar. And I accidentally took her boots. <laughs> you can have your uh, boots back. Kind of, sort of. Fragment on our tail. That, you know, I might ought to read some of these. Actually, I think I'll uh, read the... Actually, what I'm thinking... Ah, there's the Knight of Tears. That's the book I'm actually here for, I believe. The Last King of the Aliens. Yeah. Alright. Well, that went actually fairly well. I had to take some potions, but nothing we couldn't handle. Huh. This adventurer's life isn't as hard as uh, people make it sound out to be, is it, Vilja? I could... I'm starting to see why Sis is so uh, interested in it. <laughs> what have we got in here? Some gold. And uh, why don't I drop the lockpicks I picked up in here since I don't use them. Hey, Vilja, of your, uh, how's your shield, by the way? I see that you have a copy of the book Thief of Virtue. If you give it to me, I can read it aloud for you if you wish. Okay. Of course. Um, thanks, Vilja. Uh, I wanted to know how your shield was, uh, what quality it was. Okay, it's way better than this here. Talk later. Okay. Now, I'm gonna end the episode here, but... I am going to uh, read the books uh, and keep recording. So uh, those of you not interested in the reading, you can just exit out of the video now. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you're interested, sit still. I'm going to read the uh, fragment on Arteum and the uh, which seems to relate to the Sigic Order and uh, the uh, Knight of Tears. <clears throat> on Arteum by Tarsiri Il Elysium. I'm probably saying that wrong. The Isle of Arteum is the third largest island in the Somerset Archipelago, located south of the Mordun village of Post of Postnia, and west of the mainland mainland village of Rubikel. It is best known for being the home of the Sigic Order, perhaps the oldest monolithic group in Tamriel. The earliest written record of the Sigics is from the 20th year of the First Era and tells of the, the tale of the renowned Breton sage and author Vorent, traveling to the Isle of Arteum to meet with Lassies, Laxxies, I am, I am butchering names, you'll have to forgive me, but, yeah. The right master of the Sigics. Even then, the Sigics were counselors of kings and proponents of the Elder Way, taught to them by the original race that inhabited Tamriel. The Elder Way is a philosophy of meditation and study, and is said to blind, bind the forces of nature to the individual will. It differs from Magicka in origin, but the effects are much the same. It, that said, it is perhaps more than coincidental that the Isle of Artanium literally vanished from the shores of the Somerset of Somerset at the beginning of the Second Era, at, at about the time of the founding of the Mages Guild in Tamriel. Various historians and scholars have published theories about this, but perhaps none lashes and his own could shed light on the matter. Five hundred years passed and Arteum returned. The Sigics on the Isle consisted of persons, mostly elves, who had disappeared and were presumed dead in the Second Era. They could not or would not offer any explanation for the uh, 
Art for Arteum's whereabouts during that time, or the fate of Laches and the original council of Arteum. Currently, the Sigics are led by the lore mouse master, Celeros, who has presided over the Council of Arteum for the last 250 years. The Council's influence in Tamrielic politics is, is tidal. The kings of Somerset, particularly those of Mordun, have often sought the Sigic's opinion. Emperor Uriel V was much influenced by the council in, uh, in the earliest, earlier, more, most glorious parts of his reign, before the, his disastrous attack on Akivir. It has even been suggested that the fleet of King Orgarum of Pandora was destroyed by a joint effort of Emperor Ax. And Tuclius and the Sigic Order. The last four emperors, Uriel the Sixth, Morphira, Pelagius the Sixth, or perhaps Seventh, my Roman numerals uh, are uh, a little laxing, and Uriel the Seventh have been sus suspicious of the Sigics enough to fuse ambassadors from the Isle of Arteum within the Imperial City. The Isle of Arteum is difficult to chart geographically. It is said that it shifts continuously, either at random or by the decree of the Council. Visitors to the island are so rare as to be almost unheard of. Anyone desirous of meeting with a Sigic may find context in Ponstea and Rubicile, as well as many kingdoms of Somerset. Were it m more accessible, Arteum would be favored destination for travelers. As have be I have been to the Isle once, and, it's, and still dream of its idyllic orchards and clear pastures, it is st and it, it's still lagoons, still silent lagoons its misty woodlands, and the unique citric architecture that seems to be natural as its surroundings, as well as wondrous in its own right. The Sephiroth Tower, in particular, I would steady for, steady, for it is a relic from a civilization that predates the High Elves by several hundred years, and still is used in certain rites by the Sigics. Perhaps one day I might return. Note, the author is currently on the Isle of Arteum by the gracious consent of the ma Master Sigarius of the Council of Arteum. Well, that was interesting. Slight background on the uh, Sigic monks. Oh. Uh, no. Um, no. Alright, The Night of Tears by Draenor Seloth. Sarthol holds a prominent place in the his Skyrim's history, even if most do not remember it by name. It is, of course, the site of one of the first major Nord settlements, one of the first cities of men in Skyrim and the earliest, earliest known capital of their civilization. It was also the site of terrible bloodshed when the elves attempted to drive the Nords out of Skyrim to succeed only in incurring their wrath in the form of Ysgrimor and his fabled 500 companions who swept the elves from Skyrim and firmly established it as the home of the Nords. All this is known, but little else. What happened on the Night of Tears, when Sarthal was razed to the ground? What provoked the elves to such a deliberate and vicious attack? 
And what prompted such a severe response from the Nords? Vingarlmo's tristes on the uh, Altmer and Sendent suggest, per, suggest that the elves of the Metrophytic era, along with their counterparts, the early Dwemer, possessed a degree of sophistication unparalleled in Tamriel. They displayed power beyond what could be expected of the time. While not a distinct explanation, it is not given for this. While a distinct explanation, it is not given for this. I believe this work, compared with earlier writings of Hesperith, Chrysus, suggests something greater was at work on that night in Sarthol. The true motives between the night of on behind the night of tears has been obscured by by the passage of time but i believe this was not a simple war of territory or of control of skyrim i believe that what happened was of significant event passed around something very particular the nords found something when they built their city buried deep in the ground they attempted to keep it buried, but the elves learned of it and converted, coveted it for themselves. Thus, they assault, assaulted Sarthol, their goal not to drive the Nords out, but to secure this power for themselves. I believe Ysgrimor also knew something of what the elves would find under Sarthol and rallied his people to keep the elves from gaining it. When the Nords once again controlled Skyrim, this power was buried beneath, deep below the earth, and sealed away. Time has kept this knowledge from us, but it, 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 but it is my hope that time will also reveal the truth of these words. Every, every effort will be made to reallocate Sarthal and find which has been lost to us. That does have some interesting implications, does it not? 